first met Jackie in about 1980, I believe it was. It was many years ago, and she was working at the, the craft shop at the Museum of the Plains Indians. And you got to know her and looking at her art and admired it and bought some of her art, a piece which I still have. It's a piece, you remember, that you did a combination of beadwork and painting of, of a woman. Mm -hmm. yes, and uh, the beadwork across the, the front of her dress. And I was really impressed with that at the time because I was just kind of getting started off in my world of art and looking for inspiration what people were doing to combine traditional methods with contemporary art. Seeing the acceptance of Native American art is becoming a recognized and legitimate art form in our lifetimes, which it hadn't been for uh, many, many years. Uh, it took until the 1970s that they began to recognize and acknowledge traditional art forms as real art. My daughter, for instance, is so inspired my daughter's a doll maker and does beadwork, and she is so inspired by Jackie's work and other people that I talk to because are inspired and want to achieve that same sort of, you know, high quality, and that's what it reflects in high quality. My name is Kimberly Ann Kapalka, and I am the Education and Programs Manager here at the CM Russell Museum. I've been very uh, proud to become a friend of Jackie Larson Bread. The museum has been enriched by her pieces that she has created for the museum, one of which was a purse for the, the bison um, exhibition that we have on permanent view for the public. And in addition to that, we've recently purchased the war shirt. Her work was, is contemporary, so it was a really fine transition between a lot of the historical pieces that we have from our collection and works that are on loan to us. Um, and so it's a nice, it, it's a nice um, transition to see historical with contemporary work. My name is Jackie Larson Bread. I'm an enrolled member of the Blackfeet Nation from Browning, Montana. I have been beading virtually all my life, and it sort of morphed into being art for me. And beadwork has never traditionally been looked at as an art. It was just something that everyone did. Everybody's mom did it, everybody's grandma did it. And within the last probably 20, 25 years, the whole idea of it has changed a whole lot. It's become um, featured as a fine art. And I really like that idea of that. Uh, I used to be a painter and a printmaker. And so I had beat it all my life and it just seemed like a natural step to try to make beadwork, which is looked at as a craft, into a fine art. It's my immediate family. Uh, we all work as artists together. Um, my son Paris, my daughter Jade, and my husband Nathan. Um, we show together and we often help each other with what we're working on. Um, we do, you know, I'll question um, Paris, like, what color would look good here? I'm stuck. What am I going to do? And they always seem to have the answer for me. So they're highly influential. Santa Fe Indian Market. It is the most well-known, largest show, Native American show in the entire world. And I've been going there for 15 years. And I always try to do my best work with whatever I do. But there I usually feature larger, more prominent pieces. And it was such an amazing surprise to me to have won that because of the degree of talent there. Uh, it, it, there is nothing else like it and to have my piece singled out to be the best of show was just astounding and here it is a year and a half later and it's still almost unbelievable to me. Mm -hmm.